Writing a book is an extremely complicated job. It isn't just one sits down at a computer and just lets it rip. That could be a very good first draft, for example. In fact, David Ebershoff, one of our great editors at Random House, has always said that writing is all about rewriting. And so that is one of the functions that our editors help an author do in order to make an author's work as clear as it can be. Every author is different. Every author wants to work in a different way. Some authors want to go away in a cave somewhere and write 100,000 words and then come back with 100,000 words and not be disturbed while they do that. Um, other writers need to have every page centrally checked over, read, and sort of assessed so that they can move forward. And so the first thing I do is try to work out a system that will work for both of us. As an editor, you're reading things constantly, and I love it, because every day, you know, you, you start a manuscript, and it's like, maybe this is the one. Every once in a while, your heart rate goes up, and you find yourself flipping the pages, and you lose track of time, and you just know, like, I have to publish this. We know how to do this. And that's, that's the most gratifying thing about being an editor. Every writer works differently with, with an editor, um, but I find that the relationships that I have are intense. They're really intense, and they're really close. And a lot of the writers that I work with become some of your best friends because it's very intimate work, and, and I think you develop sort of a dependency on one another. You know, I love working with these people, and hopefully, you know, they like working with me as well. We do not have a house style. We do not tell our authors how to write their books. Uh, our job is to hear their voice and to take their prose and over the course of the copy editing and proofreading process to just make every author's book be the best possible version of itself that it can be. One of the most important parts of an editor's job is spreading the word about a new book in-house. And we have lots of opportunities to do that from the first editorial meeting to our pre-launch, to our launch, to marketing meetings. And then I also make a point to call different sales reps who I have a relationship with who I think would really enjoy the book. I make sure to reach out to someone in marketing if I think, yeah, that's the person who's gonna love this book. So when I'm looking to acquire what I need to find is someone who has a true voice for children, and really writes naturally from a child's point of view in a plain, direct way, and it is really a rare talent. And the best kind of story has a, a great character that you can bond with right from the beginning. Even if they're a bad guy, you could still find them irresistible because then you'll root for them throughout the whole story. The actual making of the jacket is a very private process in a way. Um, much the way reading a book is a private process. I read the manuscript and then I design something, at which point I will show it to the editor in question and I try to make jackets that are smart. And if you look at them long enough, you'll understand that the jacket represents the narrative in a deeper way. But the first job really is to get someone's attention. And often I'll have long and fruitful conversations both with authors and editors about their books. It's frankly my favorite part of the job. I mean, I like talking about books. One of the first things we do is um, meet with our authors to decide what the visual program's gonna be, the thing that's gonna complement their text, the things that's gonna set the style for the book. And we set the tone for what the brand of that book's gonna be. Quite often we have the text and then we also have the, the pictures that come much later. And we spend a lot of time perfecting the text and then um, it's only after we think the text is just perfect that we start trying to find illustrators who we think are right for the story. It's really our job to make sure that the illustrator brings whatever they bring to it but keeping in mind the voice of that author. There's always been an emphasis at Random House for fine bookmaking. There's a great deal of energy and care that goes into the manufacture of every single book. Random House has always been very amenable to using the latest technology, using the latest manufacturing techniques as far as optimal reproduction that is going to be unmatched in the industry. We're working very closely with all of the platform developers and their R&D teams to figure out what is the best use of that and what is the best use as they're developing new technologies. And the one thing that they can always be certain about is that we'll be doing whatever's cutting edge at the time that the book is released. The particular media outlet that can really 
drive that book and help break it out and find a very broad audience will range from book to book. It may be that daily review in the New York Times that makes all the difference. It may be an interview on NPR. It may, oddly enough, be a blogger tour or a chatter that begins in the online space among bloggers and takes on a viral life of its own. We spend a lot of time continuing to maintain our existing relationships with the mainstream media. From literary fiction to politics and from cooking to craft, we've developed extensive networks of bloggers that we're in touch with every day on behalf of our authors. A big part of the publicist-author relationship is just sort of being there for them and answering any questions that they have and hand-holding to a certain extent and just being there for them when, when they need it most. We believe that we can help create some of the conversation about books online. So we've developed several of these websites in order to create the dialogue or the story behind the story about many of our books and authors. We can potentially syndicate this information out, have these stories appear in other places on the web. We try to write really interesting stories, really compelling storylines uh, that people can share, share virally, potentially in their own social media, that we can amplify our author's audience and their message. In our marketing department, we really look at what we provide as a suite of services to an author. So we have experts in social media, we have experts in uh, traditional advertising, we have experts in word of mouth. So in the life of the book, after we've read it, after we've come together and we've discussed the themes that we think will resonate with the different audiences, when it comes time to actually create the marketing campaign, we draw from the experts that we have on the team. We have a lot of fun author chats where readers will have the opportunity to ask questions and the author will answer in real time, really get you know, a dialogue going about who, the, who has inspired them along the way you know, in their writing, some of their favorite authors, some of their tips to aspiring writers. So it's a really wonderful way for them to connect directly with people that are reading their books and people that, of course, want to be writers someday too. We start early and really focus on the content of the book, and we um, figure out who the audience for the book is at any given account, because that's really where it has to start. Every, every person at every account has their own reading tastes, and I think the strength of our force is knowing those and realizing the importance to learning those. We have two warehouses in our United States distribution network. One facility is located in Crawfordsville, Indiana, and the other is in Westminster, Maryland. These two facilities comprise 1.8 million square feet, which is roughly 40 football fields. We ship over 1 million books per day out of these two facilities combined. What we do at Random House International Sales and Marketing is promote and sell our books globally. Uh, we are responsible for selling and managing the marketing of all of our titles outside of the US and Canada and we promote those books physically and digitally around the world. We are in 15,000 physical book outlets and our books are available digitally on every possible multinational online store. I spend most of my days working with independent bookstores, talking to the buyers at those stores who do the ordering and decide which books will work in those particular stores. Now, what's really great about Random House is we have such great relationships with those bookstore owners and staff, and we know those stores' customers. We have email relationships with them, we have email newsletters, we're on Twitter and Facebook with those people, and we have a lot of credibility. It's really like this really deep ingrained love of, you know, of a book and of reading and of that process of kind of falling into kind of somebody else's imagination. This company really supports writers and talent. That's our goal.